here. <laughs> Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Here, kitty. Nothing to see here. Move along. What the heck are you doing, Leia? Jude? Leia! Long time no see. Alvin, too! Don't forget your pal, Tipo! Were you talking to that kitty? Not exactly. I need to catch it for a special assignment. I thought you were a newspaper reporter, Leia. What gives? I told you it's a special assignment. I gotcha, Julius. Julius? Uh-huh. That's his name. Julius Catstantine the Third. That's Julius? Uh-huh. The third one, apparently. I've been asking all over about this cat. So, the person asking a lot of questions about Julius is Leia. And this Julius hacks up hairballs. I give Spiris intel in F, guys. Anyhow, thanks, guys. This cap belongs to our biggest advertiser. Uh, where are my manners? This is Luger Kresnik. My name's Al, and this here is Rolo. I'm Leia Rolando. It's a pleasure to meet all of you. Leia. Oh, you're the old friend Jude was talking to on the phone before. Guilty as charged. We grew up together. Not his girlfriend. Huh? Is she your little sister? Huh? It's nothing like that. We have a strictly monetary relationship. What? Huh? So, Leia, are you a cat catcher? Huh? No way! I'm a newspaper reporter. Think of me as a truth catcher. It's an honorable job. Speaking of, have you heard anything about the train hijacking? That right there is the story of the decade. Last I heard, they put out a warrant for that spurious bigwig. Julius Kresnik, I think? Wait a minute. Julius Kresnik? Did you step into trouble again? Uh-huh. Big trouble. Like super big trouble. But Luger is... I know, I know. He's a friend of yours. Come on! Huh? Duval. I have an informant there. She's super duper in the know. So I'll introduce you guys. Oh, right now we're getting somewhere. Sick of being a pampered pet and decided to explore the great outdoors. Sure, sure. I feel you, kitty. Take it from me, though. This world is nothing but one big litter box. Ivor? He's talking to what's his name the third. Quick, grab that cat for me. Huh? Ah! And there it goes. See that? Even the deadliest creatures run in fear of my mighty weapon! Don't be afraid, cat. Thanks. <laughs> I bet you don't even know which end is up on that thing. All right, 
take up your sledgehammer. You better nail this, because it's hammering time! Huh? Hey! Oh, my head! Power swing! Such a well played. You're so beefy, Luther. <laughs> I could sure go over some beef right now. <laughs> You've gotten stronger. So, you do know which end is which, but I'm warning you, don't go swinging that thing around town. Some people have no consideration, I swear. So Ivor's working here in Olympias. What are you gonna do about the cat? I'll wrangle your furball. We got some business to take care of here anyway. That sounds right up your alley, Alvin. What is that supposed to mean? Ah, but if I use a little spud as bait, I'll catch that cat in no time. Don't even think about it, little buddy! Why do you always have to be such a jerk? Well, okay then. I'll leave you two to it. I don't mind helping. As long as you don't use Tipo as catnip. Now, off to Duval. She's waiting at Duval Station. Exclusive expose. The terrible untold truth behind terrorist train tragedy. Investigative journalist Leia Rolando unravels the shocking mystery. Leia, what are you writing? Just jotting down some notes for an article. An article? You're like a reporter. Hey, there's no like about it. But those aren't articles, they're just dramatic headlines. You can't write a story to match a predetermined conclusion. Hey, professional journalists don't accept unsolicited advice from amateurs, mister. So as a professional, are you hitting your deadlines? You can't just copy off my homework the morning before class like you used to. Zip it, Jude. Why do you hate the free press so much? What does any of this have to do with the free press? I'm talking about professional responsibility here. What's with Jude and Leia? They're like... Married? <laughs> Whatever could you be talking about? Seriously now, do we really look like that? <laughs> wow, Leia's strong. Oh, sorry. It wasn't on purpose. In Leia's case, the staff is mightier than the pen.
figured you were a no-show. Sorry I'm late. So, uh, this is your informant? Yep, Jude, meet Jolene. Call me whatever you want, cutie. Anyway, you know why we're here. The train hijacking, right? Maybe I know something, maybe I don't. I'm guessing it depends on whether we have money or info to trade, right? Hey. So that's the real story. It's true, I saw it all too. Wow. Good stuff. Guess it's my turn to share. Word on the street is, Brot's been funneling a certain something something to Exodus. Brot? That's the name of the government around these parts, right, Jolene? Supposedly. Meaning? No dice. I like living. What are they sending? Weapons? Nope. Guess again. Spirit fossils and boosters. Say what now? That's right, kids. The next-gen stuff that's supposed to replace current Spyrex technology. Whoa, stop the press. This guy looks familiar. I suppose he does. This is Jude Mathis, the spyrite researcher. Mom always wanted me to meet a doctor. You make me feel all chatty. Oh, Jude, you're like a celebrity. Rumor has it there's a demon prowling the alleyways of Duval. He looks just like a regular guy on the outside, but I hear he's hiding some monstrous power. He uses it to stalk his prey. <laughs> Guy. Word is, even some of Brat's heavies have fallen victim. I just wrote it off as an urban legend, but maybe it's connected to the train hijacking after all. <laughs> Put it out of your mind. Put it out of your mind. Are you having trouble dealing with the train incident? That certainly was scary. No, it's not that. I can't forget those pictures on Luger's wall. They were so horrible. Oh, the wanted posters? I imagine Ivor stuck them up after he snuck in. Wanted posters? Were those supposed to be some twisted version of Luger and Glasses guy? I'm not sure if that was the intention. Did you see them, Luger? Yeah, that's the one. Get that out of here! I'm trying to forget! <coughs> Odd that they're in the same style as the wanted posters in Riza Maxia. Why don't they just use photos? Luger, take a picture of yourself and bring it to the police. Maybe they'll replace it if you ask. What? Illustrations are supposed to be better at conveying the true essence of the subject. Or so I've heard. So that's the true essence of Luger and Glasses Guy? That's even scarier than their creepy spear forms. Really? Maybe when criminals are confronted with these wanted posters, a lot of them crack and turn themselves in. So how did you meet this informant person? Well, you know what they say. Swim with sharks, wake up with fleas. Wait, is that how it goes? of the alleyways, stalking Brat members. Uh, I'm not scared. So is this the demon stomping grounds? I really hope it's not. What, are you scared? No way, I ain't a fraidy cat. Besides, it might help us get to Canaan. But it's not the only thing I'm curious about. What reason does Exodus have for gathering the materials to make spyrites? What's that, Chief? Did someone say spyrites? 
If you find folks have got the gall to spend, then I've got the goods. You mean to say you're peddling spirit fossils? You bet. Only lesser spirit class ones, though. Speaking of that, have you heard anything about people gathering spirit fossils recently? Don't beat around the bush. You mean Exodus, right? <laughs> Don't move, Dr. Mathis. We're taking you into custody unless you try something foolish. In broad daylight? Doesn't matter. <laughs> These men... Brought agents. Hey, what's the matter, buddy? You look like you've just seen a ghost. I get why you and Exodus hate me so much, but if you can't trust us, then at least trust in the spy rights. That's all I ask of you. We're so close to making them work. Curse that Jolene. She must have ratted us out. Show no mercy. They're probably all Rizomaxians. <sighs> no mercy. Very well. one this it's Rowan who an old friend and traveling buddy Rowan's super smart he knows everything so he knows where the land of Canaan is the land of Canaan you say that's right old timer it's a magical place that grants people wishes do tell <laughs> well I got a wish for that Canaan place to grant Death to all Riza Maxia scum. Every last one of them. Anybody who looks at you art wielding monsters and thinks you're people like us is crazy. Quite right. <laughs> Don't look! Rowan, what did you just do? Need you ask? Elise, Gaius, Lady Drissel. I must avenge their deaths. I must atone for dispelling the schism. No, not like this. <gasps> Those two must perish as well. This man isn't Rowan. Truly, every last Olympian must be sent to their doom. Careful, he's not the Rowan we know. I don't understand. Yeah, we can't do him. Power swing! You will know my power!
<laughs> People don't just vanish into thin air. Well, they must be hiding around here somewhere, so find them. <sighs> what did you monsters do? It's more of that spirit art trickery. You really are monsters, aren't you? That's enough. And who the hell are you? <gasps> You're going to tell me something. Why is Exodus so intent on gathering spyrite materials? Imagine if they unleashed an out-of-control spyrite on the world. Everyone would see the danger in it. Public support would vanish in a flash. <gasps> Indeed they would. The plan is a cunning one. Hold on a sec. You're... you're not gonna kill us? We're not the monsters you think we are. Nothing changes overnight. It would appear that hatred of Riza Maxia runs deep within the veins of this city. Maybe you could go to the land of Canaan and wish the hate away. Beg pardon? The land of Canaan is a magical place that grants wishes for people. <laughs> Quite the locale, that. Alas, the power to alter men's hearts in the blink of an eye would be frightening indeed. We could easily wish away that which makes us human. It's okay. These two are the real deal. Rowan, Gaius, thank you. Erston. Huh? At the moment, I'm just a man about town, much like any other. Please, call me Erston. His Highness is traveling incognito to get a sense of public opinion in Olympias. Can you really do that? I mean, you are the King of Rizamaxia. King? I've never gotten to see a real king before. My pleasure. He can be stubborn as a child, this one. What was that, Rowan? Nothing. Hey, I just thought of something. Do you think that demon of the alleyways was gut... I mean, Erston here? I mean, it could have been, but the scary Rowan looked like the glasses guy, too. The scary me? Well, you see... Interesting. It would seem you've gotten yourselves wrapped up in some sort of paranormal phenomena. Your thoughts, Rowan? Something's afoot. Based on? A hunch. Good enough for me. Now get to the bottom of it. As you wish. Would you be so kind as to allow me to accompany you henceforth? I'm Rowan Ilbert. A pleasure to make your acquaintances. Jude. I know. I can't let Exodus get me down. I'll perfect the spyrite tech and prove them wrong. Enthusiastic as ever. Caught me a Julius. Who wants to make it two for two? What happened? Oh, he got scratched. It's a battle scar. Chicks dig that kind of thing. The old gang's back together. Yeah.
Vera from Spirius Corporation here. A witness has spotted former director Kresnik. He's at Alati. Huh? Alati Sea Haven. It's a port in Riza Maxia. Other pursuit agents are on their way to the scene. You must hurry. Still got bills to pay, huh? You've certainly matured into quite a dependable man over the last year. I don't know about that, but thanks. Coming from you, that's a great compliment. This job is for a really rare item. I don't know if we'll find it through normal means. Why not ask the cats to do it? They're always coming back with rare items. So, you're friends with His Highness? Indeed I am. I serve at King Gaius's side as his Prime Minister. What's that? He's sort of like the King's Regent. That makes him the number two guy in all of Riza Maxia. The King's Regent? But in fairy tales, the Regent's always the villain. Hey, you're right. They're always secretly trying to steal the kingdom or mess with the King. How could a mere child see through my ambitions? Huh? It's true. As you've suspected, I derive great pleasure from toppling kings. I remove their pawns one by one, as my loyal knights advance from the sides to flank them. We have to warn His Highness! Of course I'm talking about chess. <laughs> what? Your regents really are mean. Rowan is pretty much always like this. It's interesting taking a step back and looking at everyone. I can see some things have changed and some haven't. Speaking of changes, I see you've grown a beard. Ah, you noticed that, did you? Not bad, eh? Right? Excuse me? Your beard has nothing on mine, young man. I wonder if I'll ever be able to grow a beard. Ha! <laughs> Respect for the beard's majesty at your tender age? You've got good taste. So, what inspired you to grow a beard, Alvin? Well, there were a number of factors. But for the most part, I thought it was time to start trying new things. Like what? Like anything. You only live once, right? And you gotta do the things you want while you can. Hmm. That's a more juvenile reason than I was expecting. It would have been more fun if you decided to wear a disguise or something. <sighs> what exactly is it gonna take to satisfy these two? <laughs> okay, you're creeping me out. Do you have a question about Tipo? Um, what is he? Tipo is Tipo, a lovable friend to all. That's a lie. There aren't any animals that look like you, and if there were, they still couldn't talk. Tipo is actually a mana amplifying device known as a booster. It's because of Tipo that Elise is able to cast such powerful spirit arts. He makes her stronger than even a normal adult. So you guys are running a scam. A uh, scam? You want to be a grown-up, right? Like real bad? So you have Tipo help you cheat at spirit stuff. Don't worry, though. I won't tell anyone. Th thanks You shouldn't snitch on her either, okay, Jude? Uh, right. 
It's pretty big of me to cover for you like this, huh? You can thank me later. Now who's pulling a scam? more than your minimum payments, you might get a special reward selected by me specifically for you. Are you motivated or what? Oh, hey, Luger. What's up? Got some juicy news you're just dying to share? You'll have to forgive Leia. She's become a raging scoopaholic. I wouldn't be surprised if she mugged me just to get a story in the crime blotter. Ugh, come on. Stop it already. Oh, Chief. Are you chasing down a hot tip? Reporter Leia Rolando would be happy to help. Um, no. Oh, come on. How else will I learn? Very well. Take this to the station. Uh, Chief? I'm sure you're ready for a simple errand. Off with you now. Chop chop. Oh, did you get a chance to look at that story I turned in yesterday? D minus. The newspaper is not a diary for your rambling opinions. Next time, try having a point. What were you writing about anyway? Unemployment, the environment, corruption, culture. You can't just write about whatever pops into your head. You need to... I need to do what? Figure it out for yourself. I'm going for a walk. See you later. So that's Leia's boss. Seriously, you think they're Mr. Nice Guy and then BAM! Out come the fangs. People in charge always pull that. But he's a world-class writer. When you read one of his pieces, it's like the whole story unfolds in your mind. I would kill to have half his skill. So that's why you were trying to tag along with him? The man works so quickly, I've never seen how he does it. I thought this could be my chance. Well, guess I better get this to the station. Why don't we tag along, shall we? Thanks. Okay, let's get this done. Listen, Leia. I'm always happy to get texts from you, but... What's up? You sound serious. Hmm? Enough with the emoticons already. I can barely even figure out what your messages are about. And what's with this creepy frog picture you sent over? How the hell is that supposed to look like me? What? The emoticons make texting cute and fun! And the frog has those morose little eyes that made me think of you! <sighs> right? How can you seriously compare me to a frog? Especially that frog! Its face is completely obnoxious. It's cute. We can make it into a little Alvin meme and write funny stuff you say all over it. It's not cute at all. And are you trying to imply I'm obnoxious? What? N no, it's not like... Well, yes, actually. I am not obnoxious. Yish. I just thought you'd get a kick out of it. Hm. <sighs> well, I do appreciate the thought. 
But enough with the frog, all right? Excuse me. I'm from the Daily Triglav. Ah, yes. You have it then? You that new girl they hired? Yep, that's me. Huh. And you're from Riza Maxia, right? So you guys just borrow power from spirits whenever you need anything? Well, yeah, I guess you could say that. Like, if you get diarrhea or something, you'd need to pray to the spirits or perform rituals to get better? Um... You don't have to worry about that here. Our healthcare system is second to none. If you ever get the trots or anything, just let us know. Sorry, that kind of shook me up. I don't think so, no, but that just makes it that much harder to deal with. It sounds like stories of Riza Maxian spirit worship get pretty mangled when they come over. He was a creep. If you let every Olympian misconception bug you, you'll grind your teeth down to the gums. I know. I guess I just get irritable when I'm hungry. You're hungry? Let's just get this back to the chief. He said he was going for a walk. He's probably still somewhere around town. Oh man, I'm so hungry. A bar would probably be our best bet to get a bite around here. What do you think? Why are we doing this again? Can't you just use your GHS to call your editor? Even if I called, he'd never answer. Finding him on the street is our only shot. I'm back now, Chief! Hmm. Researching something? I'll help. Tell me something. Why do we do extensive research? Uh, in order to write articles for the newspaper? Okay, then. And what do those newspaper articles require? Um, well, speed? Wait, no. Maybe accuracy? The station agent you gave the documents to is kind of a creepy fellow, right? Say you were writing an article about him. You think all you'd need is speed and accuracy? If you don't know the answer, you might as well give up. You got me. That his idea of advice, or was he just being a jerk? I wonder. It's weird to say this, but that was actually the longest conversation he's ever had with me about the job. It's gotta mean something. Anyway, he said I should give up trying to be a reporter if I didn't know the answer. Which means if I learn the answer, I can be a reporter! That's one way to look at it. All right, I'll figure it out! But first, I owe you one, Luger. Whenever you need help with your gig, just let me know. Thanks for everything today, guys! Great work out there! Today was another tough one, huh? You know, there's nothing I love more than a hard worker. So here, I got this for you.
more than your minimum payments, you might get a special reward selected by me specifically for you. Are you motivated or what? Whenever I come to Marksburg, it always seems to be bursting with energy. That's wonderful to hear. The city was built to enable these sorts of lively commercial and cultural exchanges. But it's so weird. Even the ocean split in two. That's where the schism used to be. It was a giant barrier that split Rizamaxia off from Olympias. Oh, right. And you're all from Rizamaxia. That's why you can use spirit hearts. Spirit arts. Unfortunately, Olympians often seem to view the use of spirit arts as something strange or sinister. The schism is gone, but it's already been replaced by a new barrier of prejudice and contempt. What do you think, El? Do we seem scary or horrible to you? No, neither. There are plenty of weird people in Olympias too, you know, like Luger. <laughs> Worry not, Jude. The barriers of which you speak will not survive, El's generation. Right? You just leave everything to me. Stop right there, folks. You want to learn about custom orders, right? But don't answer, unless that answer is yes. Try once and you'll get hooked. I'll give you the materials and everything. Don't be so pushy.
Easy. Easy. You copying me? Maybe. Ready? Easy. Easy. You copying me? Maybe. <sighs> you gotten stronger.
gotta keep moving, one step at a time. Job well done. I prefer medium rare. This is the result of my hard work. Hey. Hmm. Should have gone a little. Ready? Doesn't look like they're here to shake hands. The strongest salesman in the world. If I must. Power is strength! Wait, that's the same thing. Thank you. 